Hello again, and welcome to Learning Spreadsheets. We are on lesson eight. If you go to Google Classroom, you'll see the lesson here prepared for you. Um, one thing that's different about this lesson is that I noticed the original textbook had the information sideways, which was gonna make it very difficult for you to read. So what I did was I formatted it so that the page was rotated 90 degrees to make it a little easier for you to read. Um, so um, if you want this modified version of the textbook, you'll have to download that in the lesson. So let's get started. I have already uh, created a blank spreadsheet. And that's actually the finish of it. I've already created a blank spreadsheet for you. I'm going to make a copy of this real quick um, so that I don't modify yours. Okay, and we're going to, I'm going to pause the video so that I can type in all of the data. Okay, now I know that uh, it may get a little tedious to have to type all of this in. So what I'm going to do for this lesson is I'm going to give you half of the data and then make you only responsible for the second half of the data. So that will be reflected in the assignment. Um, so you'll only be responsible for 10 rows and not all 23. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is enter the data, which we have done. Step four says resize all columns so that all data is, is displayed. So let's go ahead and do that like we would with any other spreadsheet. We want to double click between the top columns and spread them out so that they fit just neatly around the text that's inside. So we've done that. Save the spreadsheet, that's already been done for you. Center align column B. So again, to choose a column, we click on the entire letter and that will choose the entire column. We want to center align, so we want these words to all be centered within this column. So we're gonna go to more, we're gonna go to this alignment picture here, and we're gonna choose center. Okay. We want to format column C as text and right align column D. So I want to talk a little bit about the format of information in the cells. Uh, if you, all of the words are in a format called text and all of the numbers are right now in a format of number. One of the reasons why when I type information in, okay, uh, when I type words in, uh, the words cling to the left side, they're left aligned. And when I type in numbers, they cling to the right side, they're right aligned is because the numbers are actually being formatted as number formats. And the words are being formatted as text formats. That's gonna come into play later on when we work with different formatting features and formula features. Um, but for now, all I need you to know is that the, the numbers that you've typed can be formatted as text. And I'm gonna show you how to do that and what that looks like. So I'm gonna hide that. So when I have column C, it says format column C as text. So I'm gonna choose all of column C, okay? And there are these format formatting icons right up here. These give us the various types of number formats. We're gonna be going over those later. If we click on the arrow, it gives us a big menu of different types of texts. So this could be formatted as a date, it could be formatted as time, it could be formatted as money, with a decimal, it could be formatted as money that was rounded. So there's a lot of different ways to display numbers depending on how you're using them. So Google has all of these options available to you. But what we want for now is just the numbers to be formatted as, te as text. And watch what happens to the numbers when I format them as text. They all moved to the left. So anything that's text by default is gonna be on the left-hand side of the column. Um, so column C is as text, and I'm gonna right align column D. So I'm gonna highlight column D, and I'm gonna go up here, 
and instead of uh, instead of center align, I'm going to do right align, and that makes them all line up on the side here. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to change the font of the entire spreadsheet to Comic Sans. So I I'm just going to, as an aside, I really don't like Comic Sans. A lot of people love Comic Sans. It's not my favorite, but it's what they want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Comic Sans. Comic Sans is actually down in the menu down here under font. Notice that it only changed the cell that I'm in. What did I do wrong? Well, I need to actually choose all of the cells. And remember to do that, I just go up to this box right up here between the A and the one, I click on it, and all the cells are chosen. And that way any formatting feature that I apply applies to all of the cells and not just the cell that was selected. So I'm gonna choose Comic Sans again and all of the cells are now Comic Sans. Ridiculous font. Anyway, so we have Comic Sans. Make sure that it's 10 point. It should be, because that's the default font size. Underline and bold the column headings in row three. So I'm gonna highlight row three, and I'm going to underline and bold them. Um, I would like you to try to get more comfortable using keyboard shortcuts. So one way to do that is just to hover over things and look for them and then practice them. So if I look at the bold B here, um, I can see that the shortcut is control B. Okay, um, this is not underline, it's text color. I thought it was underlined and it kind of messed me up. So the, the way to find underline is to go to format, the format menu and find underline. But notice that it also has a keyboard shortcut. And these are very commonly used. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the keyboard shortcut, control U, to underline it. And if I, if I press it again, it just takes off the underline, so you can see. All right, cool. All right, now I want to format the height of row one to 70. It looks like I went out of place here. I actually went to 11, now I gotta go back to nine, but it doesn't matter. Format the height of row one to 70. So row one, I want this row to be 70 points or pixels tall, and that's about here. Um, we're just gonna have to guess because Google doesn't allow us to know exactly how tall these things are. Change the font size of cell A to 36 point. So we want cell A to 36 point. Font size is next to the font type. 36 is on the menu. And notice that now uh, 60 or 70 allows us to kind of fit that size font into the cell. Um, and then we want to change the vertical alignment to center. I'm gonna actually make this cell just a little bit larger so that we can see the vertical alignment. And remember here we've got horizontal alignment, vertical alignment, text wrapping, we've talked about. Okay, we want vertical alignment, center. Okay. So now we're down to 11, which we did. That was the bold and the underline. And now we want to uh, change the page layout orientation to landscape and adjust the page scaling to fit one page. So these last few steps are in the print options. Everything else is done, so I wanna just kinda of double check to see that there's nothing weird. Looks like the font size changed what text would fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click each cell. Whoa, not that one. I want that to just be right like that, okay. I don't mind if this top title bleeds into the other cells because there's nothing else in these cells. But I want the other ones to fit nicely. So make sure you double click in between the columns to refit the cells. All right, um, let's quickly go to how to change the, the printing options. 
Okay, so if we were gonna print this, this is what it would look like currently. Um, the exercise is asking you to do a couple of things here. One is to make sure that the pay layout, pay, pay layout orientation is a landscape. It is currently landscape because it's selected and you can see that the page is turned sideways as, as opposed to portrait landscape. Um, the second thing that it's asking for is to format the spreadsheet to be centered both horizontally and vertically. That's something that we haven't gone over before. So if we go to formatting, you're gonna see that the grid lines are there, which is something else it's asking for. So just make sure that they're there. And then in the alignment, you'll see that you have, you, you have horizontal alignment that's centered. That means is it centered in between the left and right side of the page? It is, that's been chosen. We wanna make it centered, the vertical alignment centered as well. So if we were to print this out, all the information is exactly in the middle of the paper. Um, and that makes it look much nicer. Okay, and once you've done that, and you've gone through and kind of proofread everything, uh, you don't need to print it out, obviously, because you're just turning it in. So you'll cancel that, and your print settings will save. So I'll still see those when you turn them in, um, even though you're not printing them out. Okay, I think that's it for the lesson, and I know it's been kind of a long one, so I'm gonna end the lesson here.